His vital signs were stable upon arrival and have remained so. He requires no supplemental oxygen or respiratory assistance. He has no signs of infection or dysfunction of the major non-neurological organs. His neurological condition can be best described as a state of unresponsive wakefulness. He has spontaneous eye opening and blinking. However, he shows no signs of understanding language, responding to verbal commands, or awareness of his surroundings. He has not spoken. He has not engaged in any purposeful movements or behaviors. His exam shows a spastic quadriparesis, which means he has profound weakness and contraction of the muscles of his arms and legs. The most important diagnostic test thus far was a magnetic resonance imaging scan of the brain. This study showed extensive loss of brain tissue in all regions of the brain. As I said, there were no fractures of the bones that we can detect, and this, there were minor blemishes on his skin that are thought to be consistent with medical care and intravenous lines. We did not see any skin indications that are strongly suggestive of mistreatment. We received copies of brain MRI images from the medical personnel in North Korea. The earliest images are dated April 2016. Based upon our analysis of those images, the brain injury likely occurred in the preceding weeks. At the request of the family, information regarding his prognosis, prospects for improvement, and future care and treatment will remain confidential.